hello and welcome to the channel today in this tutorial i will show you the design process of this model in freecad using only the part design workbench so first here go to freecad and create a new document switch to part design workbench and create a new body and a new sketch in axi plane or yz plane i select axi plane and now here zoom out okay and what we'll draw in this first sketch here will be a section of this section view here you'll draw this section go to this sketch here and go to sketch geometry select polyline tool and now draw this sketch Okay, now let's set the dimension of this sketch here. So first here, we'll set the horizontal dimensions. So now select horizontal distance tool, this icon here. And first here, we'll set the distance between this point here to this point. So let's go to the drawing page. And here, as you can see, we have 36 here. So the distance here will be the half of 36. So here we'll set 36 divided by 2 and we get 18 millimeters so now let's set the distance between this point here to this point as you can see here we have a diameter of 100 for this cylinder so the distance here will be the half of 100 will be 50 okay and now let's set the distance between this point here to this point as you can see here we have a diameter of 48 for this cylinder here so the length here will be the half so we'll set 8 48 divided by 2 okay and we get 24 millimeters and now let's set the distance between this origin point to this point here you will have a diameter of 68 for this hole here so you will set the half of 68 okay and now the distance between this point here to this point as you can see here we have a diameter of 8 so the distance here will be 40 okay and now let's add the vertical dimension for this sketch so first here click on this icon to hide these constraints here okay and select vertical distance tool and for this line here we'll set we'll set the length of 8 so set 8 here and enter and for this line here, we'll set 17, this dimension. Okay, and the distance here for this line here, the vertical distance is 20. So what to do here, select this point and this point here and set 20. Okay, and now here we'll set, we'll set the height of this part here. So first here select this point and then this point here and the distance here is 120. So change to 120 and enter. Okay, and now as you can see we have two degrees of freedom here. So now click on this icon two times to hide these constraints here and select horizontal constraint. And now just select this point here and this point, these two points. Okay, and now this sketch is full constrained. So leave the sketch now, press home and now select revolution tool and click OK. As you can see, now we have this part here. And the next thing to do here is to create these holes here, these eight holes for the amount of 10. So what we'll do here, first here select this face and create a new sketch in this face here switch to section view and now select cycle tool here in sky geometers and draw a cycle in this vertical line here click on this icon and now constrain the diameter of this cycle to 10 okay and now we'll set the distance between the center point to the region point so select vertical distance tool click on this region point and now the center point here and you will set a distance of you will have eight between these between the center points of these holes here 
so the distance here will be the alpha of 80 so you will set 40 okay and now we have this sketch full constraint it so now leave the sketch and create a pocket here change the type here to throw goal and as you can see now we have this hole now so click ok and next here we'll create these eight holes here these holes now so what to do go to model select pocket and go to polar pattern tool click on this icon and change the number of occurrence here to eight and then click ok and now we have these holes okay and next here what we'll do we'll create this pocket here so first here we'll create a new sketch click on this icon to create a new sketch for this sketch here so we'll select we'll select yz plane so we'll select x plane select x plane here switch to section view and now what we'll do here he will extract this edge and this edge here so select external geometry tool extract this edge okay and now extract this edge here so now we get we have these two lines here select polyline tool now and now let's draw this sketch okay and now let's constrain this sketch here first here we'll set these lines symmetrical to this vertical line so select smart tool now these two end points of this horizontal line and then this vertical line okay and now select equal constraint set these two lines equal and these two lines equal okay and now as you can see we have three degrees of freedom here so now let's set the dimension of this sketch select vertical distance tool select this point here and this point and here will set a distance of 10 okay and now select horizontal distance tool click in this line here and the length of this line here will set 25 okay and now click in this line and the dimension of this line here will set 60 okay and now leave this sketch select pocket tool and change the type to trigger and set smart to blank and now click ok now as you can see we have this pocket now and next here what we'll do we'll create this hole and this pocket here so what we'll do here you will create a new sketch now in yz plane so click on this icon to create a new sketch select yz plane for this sketch and switch to section view and first here we'll extract this edge select external jump to tool extra this edge here okay and now select cycle tool through this cycle and select arc tool and through this arc okay and now select rectangle tool and through this rectangle and delete this horizontal line here delete and now make these points constant and these two points constant okay and now just select this arc here and this line and set tangent okay and next here let's set the dimension of this sketch so first here what we'll do we'll select this cosine cycle tool click in this cycle and the diameter of this cycle here will set 20 okay and the range of this arc here is 60 so click in this arc and set 60 okay and now select vertical distance tool the distance between this center point to this origin point here will set 100 okay and okay for this line here we can set 50 no problem we can leave the sketch in this way so click on this icon and now select pocket tool change it up to trigger and set smart to plane and then click ok and now we have this and the next step here is to create this chamfer separations here in this part so what we'll do here 
First here, select this face, control, and select this face here, and then this edge, and now this face of these two holes here, and select chamfer two. Okay, and the size of this chamfer is one, so you will set one and click OK. And now as you can see, we have this part here, and we finish the design of this model. Okay, 